Hey kids, it's JJ again. I have a great quick tip for you today. It's kind of an odd one, but it's pretty cool. Uh, I have my brother Blackhawk over here today and we were built, doing a couple builds together. And uh, this is completely off topic, but uh, I learned that he's really OCD, like, like, like worse than my wife OCD. So uh, like he cleans a lot and stuff and I'm doing this solely to embarrass you brother. So, uh, and I told him, I said, dude, my, my workbench must drive you fucking nuts. And he goes, yeah, actually it does. So this is for you, this big mess right here. And this is how I'm going to clean it off. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So anyway, sorry, just a joke. Get the rum. You're good. This is a real quick tip. Not going to take long at all. This is for detecting in an easy way. Boom. If your uh, motors have a bent shaft or something out of balance, one of my buddies had messaged me on YouTube today and said, uh, I think I bent a shaft on my uh, Fly Egg 130, which is what this is you're looking at right here. This is a build that I did. This is not the stock 130. Um, but I'm like, dude, how the hell did you bend a shaft on an 1104 motor? But apparently he did. So here's a really quick trick, because these are really hard to see sometimes. I actually have a bent motor on one of my other birds, and it's barely bent. But it gives you a, um, a lot of vibration and, and screws things up. And these little dudes are even harder. So here's a really cool trick. Take the props off your bird, plug it into Betaflight. Plug a battery into your bird, connect. Go down to the motors tab and then enable the little safety switch there. And then bring up the slider on the motor in question, just a little tiny bit. Grab a fine tweezers like this and grab the stem of the motor. Ooh, got some, some schmutz around there. That's all right, you get the gist. Anyway, while this motor's rotating, it doesn't have to be going fast. Actually, the slower the better because of the oscillations. So just kick it up a little bit so it's spinning rel relatively consistently. It would help, uh, let's see, well, no, if you're in beta flight, it doesn't matter. You could just arm it on your bench too. You don't have to hook up to beta flight. Uh, but then you have to deal with the um, gyros kicking around. So it's better to do this with beta flight. Take your tweezers and grab the shaft. Bam. You will feel through the tweezers if you've got vibration much easier than you will by looking at it. And you can actually do it for the motor itself as well if your tweezers go around it. Because I have bent shafts many times on the inside of the motor where the actual bell is kind of off and it's really hard to see when you're spinning at 7500 kV um, it, it, it can be really tricky to see but if you do this you can feel the harmonics through the tweezers and know if you have a bent motor hope that helps just a real quickie and uh, keep the shine side up kids and I'll be back I'll be back I'm always back talk to you later bye